Welcome back to Defenders of the Last Stand. This is the grisly conclusion. We're going to have the old man. He's got seven actions. He's going to confront Bama. Bama's all by himself, so hey, we can attack him. I have seven actions. I'm only going to need two. One action to move in here, and one action to attack Bama. We are going to lay the boots to this guy. I have a ton, a ton, a ton of cards. I have two crossed pistol cards. I'm going to spend them immediately uh, before I attack Mama to sabotage him. So that's going to take me one action. Of course, I'm going to one action to sabotage him. He goes from seven hit points down to six. And now it's time to count up how many dice uh, I'm going to be rolling against him. So. Let me get rid of all the cards that are not necessary, which will be all other colors but green. And then we're going to see how much pain we can inflict on Bama. So we're going to be rolling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dice we are going to be rolling against Bama. 14 dice. And... He has six hit points, and I'll show you his card this time, since he's the final big bad for us to take down. Bodyguards, a ranger may not join an attack bomb unless they can roll a minimum of four attack dice. We're rolling 14. Chaotic attack. Uh, attack results of one or two may never be re-rolled by any means, and we need a five plus to hit this guy. However, we don't need a five plus to hit him, because we are going to use Jinx, you may exhaust Jinx prior to making a test or combat roll to modify all dice by plus one. And the old man is going to put on his uh, champ, crown of champions exhaust to add plus one to all dice results from a single dice roll. We are going to make a single dice roll. We are going to be rolling 14 dice. Unless I miscounted. I thought I said 14. Did I say 14? <laughs> Let me do a recount one last time. Before we do this, so it's plus three, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three. Indeed, we're rolling 14 dice. So I'm going to have to grab a couple of extra dice, six sided, and we're going to grab these lovely little bone colored ones. All right, so basically, he has six hit points. We need six hits on Bama to win the game. Can we do it? We need a three plus. And we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That didn't. We have eight, nine hits against Bama. We will see you later. We have just won the game as my battery dies. So <laughs> let me zoom out here. Uh, this that's basically the conclusion. So the crazy old guy managed to kill all leaders. Let me zoom out and be right back with the final wrap up for this series. Okay, here we have old man triumphant over the four leaders that were threatening last stand. So here he is in all his glory triumphing. All right, cool. So that was um, a solitaire complete playthrough of Defenders of the Last Stand. And uh, that it took quite a while. I'm, I apologize for that, but I hope it gave you a good idea of how the game plays. Solitaire. I do believe the game would be more fun if you were playing it with others or playing with multiple characters. But I thought I would give this a shot with just one character to see how it works. The one thing I found a little odd is that when you play just one solitary character, you can collect as many cards as you want. You can have a hand of 150 cards if you want. And near the end there, I was getting so many cards that it was virtually guaranteed to take down the leaders during an attack. But that's all part of the game. Uh, and I ended up with six of the oil and ammo depot tokens on the board. Again, if you have 12, you lose the game. So that was, you know, not, I was never in any major danger thing I really like about this game, though, is the special cards and the common artifacts and the unique artifacts and ancient tech for Crank and really, really fun and interesting uh, version of the game. Like I said, I've done Defenders of the Realm. I like that game a lot as well, uh, but it's a little less uh, 
complicated than this one. I like the complexity in this one a little bit more with the radiation, with the mutants, with the, you know, all the, the mutation cards are really cool. I ended up having multiple arms. But again, if you get five mutation total, uh, you're going to end up uh, dying and turning into a monstrosity. I actually did have five, but luckily earlier in the game I had radiation pills, which negated the two value. So there was that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching along in this series. I, it was a long one, and uh, if you made it to the end, I really, really appreciate it. It's a lot of fun for me to do these playthroughs. I have a ton more games to try to get through. Uh, I don't know if you've been noticing, but I've been basically putting up a video a day, every day, for the last month or so, because uh, I've had a little bit more time to do some filming, and uh, I have just been banging out the games as fast as I can, really enjoying it. I love the having uh, the comments and your subscriptions and likes on videos and everything. It's really, really great fun for me, and I hope it's been entertaining somewhat for you guys as well. So thanks again so much for watching along. Uh, and I will be probably the next day or very soon uh, doing another complete board card or dice game playthrough. It's what I do on my channel. I go from beginning to end right through the entire game so you can follow along and you get much more idea of how long the game plays and the complexities and uh, a little more details of the game. So, And I apologize if I made some mistakes all the way through, which of course I did, but I hope uh, through notes uh, and uh, pop-up uh, messages on the videos uh, those can be clarified so if you're trying to learn this game through my videos i hope they helped you out as well so once again what can i say thank you guys so much for watching along join me next time for another complete card dice or board game playthrough